I want to ask you about the military because that's a very interesting point there because when I was reading up and honestly I and I and I should say this I know very little about Israel whatever I know is from the news media I don't trust it so you'll have to pardon me sometimes if I ask you a question which is really ridiculous because sure, I may not know feel the free. answer but the one interesting thing that I saw about Israel was the fact that even your military first of all from what I understand I think everyone has to serve in the military well that's also a topic we need to talk about but do they have to we have to although sad enough these days our poor government uh, passed through few laws that actually allow religious people not to be part of the military so you can pretty much just say no i believe in god now i'm going to study the bible and instead of going and protecting your country you would go to a room do basically whatever you want neither study or not and the the government will pay you for that i think this is horrific uh, but i guess it's not the topic we're on it but no but i'm interested to mentioned. know that i'm interested to know because um Look, you know, the one, the, 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 I basically, I'll tell you, the, I, we, I was at this vegan cafe and Omri was walking around and one of the reasons to also do the podcast is very often to understand just more of what you're saying. Of Now, course. my question actually in this case was just about the fact that in America, for example, with the military, they have a very strict don't ask, don't tell policy. They don't want to know if you're gay. Yeah. But apparently, from what I understand in, in your military, that's not a question. And if you're a gay person and you're out, that in no way hinders your military capabilities, from what I understand. Is that right? It's completely right. Yeah, I know many gay people that serves in the military. You know, obviously, some people can be less or more open minded. And the gay guy goes now to, to the military. You know, it's, it's kind of hard still because in the military, you share the, the toilets and like the showers. So imagine if you're gay and I've heard those stories, you're going into the shower with the rest of the team and all of them are now naked. I guess it puts you in a bit uncomfortable position or where you want to be more a bit involved or I don't know. I, I imagine myself going in, in a shower with 20 ladies. I mean, I would be a bit like, okay, how am I handling this situation? I mean, at this point, it almost feels like an incentive to join the military. If you're going to go in and all these guys are going to be naked, you're like, okay, I, this is my vibe. I like it. But it, you know, I, I always say that to people where um, I have some of my closest friends and who are straight. If you and I hang out a lot more, we could be buddies, all right? And But the thing about that is I don't think it works quite like that because you could be naked around me. But if you're not getting the same vibe from you, either I'm a creep and I'm hitting on you or I respect who you are. Yeah. And I think part of homosexuality also is to be able to draw that boundary and not of let course. other people feel uncomfortable. But I, but I can see the situation if I'm in a shower with very hot Israeli men who are all <laughs> naked. I mean, there is a chance where I might... I might, for all you know, I might be hard. I wouldn't know what to do about that. So yeah. you'd be like, bro, you're so hot. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I can understand that. But I, have you heard of people who've had that issue, who've had to navigate it? There must be some beautifully military romances. They could happen. There could be two gay boys who are in the military who fall yeah, in love. Yeah, yeah. Has that happened? Everything happens, of course. The military is so widespread. That, you know, everybody basically, except what we just said about the religious people, goes to the military. Now, I guess you need to know yourself better. I mean, if you're gay and that might trigger you, which is super normal, you might not want to join um, to a combat unit where you have this very, very intimate uh, relation with your partners or to the team because you're spending all day long together. Training, showering, eating, sleeping, everything together. You're saying all this stuff which is sounding good. I know. I mean, the way you're saying it, a gay boy will be like, sign me up. <laughs> But it's a rough mission. It's not just, you know, it's not hanging I mean, around. Now you're saying things like training. rough and this is all sounding... <laughs> Okay, now from the from the religious perspective, I understand what you're saying. Now, uh, you know, away from that, where you said yes, the, I think one of the biggest honors you can have is to be able to serve your country. My father, sure. my father was a military man. He was in the Indian Navy. I know what you're saying. For a lot of people, then to use the religious card is a very easy card to be able to get out of serving your nation. Yeah. Which, which in in a country which is as war torn as yours is right now, that would be seen as a almost as an act of cowardice. Would it be something where you would say you're you're almost chickening out? So that's the thing. Imagine Israel right now is actually very divided. We're never before we were so divided like we are today. So we really like the liberal part and then the religious part. Now, if you're liberal, obviously you see it as cowardness. You're like, you're not taking part of, of you know, you're not carry the, I don't know even how the to describe The burden of your country. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Want to, not you the burden, but the responsibility. Yeah, you have responsibility. There is not many countries around the world that's surrounded with enemies. We have enemies all over us. I mean, we have Lebanon. They don't like us. We have Hezbollah sitting there shooting rockets on daily basis. We have Hamas in Gaza border east. Egypt. We have this cold peace with Egypt, but they don't really like to help us much in everything that involves Hamas. We have uh, on the other side Jordan and we have West Bank.
bank where a lot of terrorism also come, which is part of us. So it's really hard to manage a country where you have so many enemies from all frontiers and not everybody taking part trying to defend it. And moreover, even saying, no, I'm actually defending it. The fact that I'm praying to God, God saving us because of me, not because of you, that you will eventually die. So the one was actually going to the military. They die on the sword, you know, they go fight and die. I can't share enough respect for those people. Actually, my very best friend almost died at the 7th of October. He got shot three times. He is a very strong man and I love him. Um, and he survived and he did amazing recovery. Um, but you know, not everybody did this recovery. Not everybody survived what happened. And not ev every day, just yesterday, five soldiers dead. Uh, the three days ago, another four soldiers died. So religious people are not gonna die praying God, you know, and if, if you really believe that praying God will help us, you're welcome to pray during the night and thank you for that, yeah? And, uh, like, I don't uh, underestimate it, but please, you can also go to the military and take part of what we're doing. Um, so, yeah, if, if, if you ask a liberal guy, like a guy that lives in Tel Aviv, what do you think about the religious people that don't serve? He would be like, that's a shame, that's crazy, I don't know why we need to do that. And then they ask us for more time in the military, and it's just ridiculous. But then you go to Bnebrak again, or Jerusalem, where it's religious cities. And there, the vibe will be completely different. The vibe will be, no, I'm not going to the military. I'm, I'm going to defend my country reading the Bible. And, and there, you'd, you'd be coward if you would go to the military. You would consider like, betraying your religion or betraying the moral of your society because they're almost like a society within a society. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very hard times where it really depends who you're asking um, and they will give you their own answer.